Right on time. Here. She's in here. You said your daughter was here? Yes. Can't you hear her crying? Asta? Asta, my love. Come here. Mama? Why? What's wrong? No! She's gone! Why did you do this? I, uh, I'm sorry. But it wasn't. It wasn't. <sighs> I'm just glad you came. So someone else could... see. Olivia? Is everything all right? Officer Beckin, you won't believe it. My Asta, she's alive! Olivia, Asta's been gone 15 years. You're supposed to be on leave. Do you need me to get mental health services out here? No, it was her. Go ahead, tell them what you saw. Please. No. No. I... It was the monster. That night. It wasn't. I didn't. Mama said it takes a monster to kill a monster. Xavier asked of us. Krista, I'm still married. I know you feel guilty about what she did to herself, but that was her choice. Eric, Rachel's not here, but I am. I'm sorry, Krista. 
But I can't go through with this. That's okay. It is? I told you I didn't want you unless you wanted me. And well, you don't want me, so... That's that. Thanks for being so understanding. I do understand, but Xavier? He won't. He really thought us being together could help stop things from getting worse. What should I say to him? That's your problem, not mine. Do you want to play dolls? What's wrong, Mommy? Are you sad because you took out your eyes so you could find me? No, sweetie. I'm fine. Really. You don't look fine. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... When you get older, you spend your life working towards something. Something you believed in very much. But then, out of the blue, another thing happens and makes you question everything. So, you feel kind of lost. And you're feeling lost, Mama? Now that I've found you, I'm already feeling much better. You're happy to be here with me? Of course I am. I've been looking for you for a long time. I don't ever want to be away from you again, Mommy. We can just stay here and be together forever. We will. You promise? Te lo juro por mi vida. Good, because the purifier told me he'd kill you if you lost me again. What did you say? Come on, Mommy. Let's play hide and seek. Ava. Ava. Where are you going? I want to go straight to the square and kill them all. Find the big one with the flames. Kill it, too. What if people are there? I don't care. Ava, you don't mean that. Monsters deserve to die. We can't keep letting those things kill us off one by one. Like Meta, like... Your mother? Mama told me there are two types of people in this world. The winners and the victims. And you have to decide which one you want to be. Life is more complicated than that. Is it though? If we want to escape whatever's happening here, if we want to win, we need to be the monsters for a change. The people here already think we're monsters. Let them think what they want. I'm going to find them, and I'm going to kill every last one of them. With or without you. Please, Detective, you have to believe me. I know the rumors about me, but that doesn't matter to me anymore. My daughter is alive. I've seen her. She's alive, and we need to keep looking for her. I know how this sounds. I know we thought Asta was dead, but she's back. I saw her. Look, Astra Johansson. She can back me up, Detective. She went with me when I asked. She saw us the two. Well, is what she's saying true? Hogan's telling the truth. We did see something. <sighs> Thank you. But what I saw wasn't Asta. It was... It was a monster. And it's not the only monster I've seen in this town. They're out there. Maybe they look like loved ones. Or maybe they don't. But the danger is real. And any one of us could be tricked like Detective Haugen. You sound like you both need help. Olivia, go home and get some rest. I don't want to get a call about this later. I think I just made things worse for you. No, you didn't. They may doubt us, but at least I know you're on my side. And together we are going to find your son again.
remember that bear a few years back? The one who attacked us? I always wondered what would have happened if I didn't let you pull the trigger. You would have gotten mauled. It was a mother bear. With her babies. It was tragic. But that's what happens when you get between a sow and her cubs. She will rip you apart to protect them. And I had to protect you. Yeah. I suppose you did. That was years ago. What's making you think about it right now? It's just... Uh, wait, hang on. I... I found them. A lot of them. Ava, s slow down. Where? The memorial downtown. They followed me here. Hang on. I will be right there. I'm going to kill them. Wait for me. I... Carl, what's going on? Ava, I said wait for me. I'll meet you at the memorial. Ava? Papa, where are you? Are you at the memorial? Oh, hey, Astrid. Just having a drink at Leo's. Everything okay? I think you should come home. No. There's something I need to do first. Do what? I love you, Astrid. No matter what happens, I want you to know that. Okay? Tell me that you know that. Papa, why are you talking like that? You're scaring me. I have to go now, Angel. Papa, wait! Eric, are you alright? Yeah, I think so. I was worried. I hadn't seen you since last night. I told Xavier you couldn't go through with it. Needless to say, he wasn't happy. I respect your decision. Really, I do. But if the shoe was on the other foot, are you certain Rachel would do the same for you? What do you mean? Pleasure is one of the purest forms of salvation. It's a direct channel to the purifier. Don't you want to know what it's like? To become one with the entire community? It's not all knives and needles, Eric. You have a big heart, big enough to love everyone here. Does Rachel know about this? She knows more than she's told you. What's that supposed to mean? Talk to Xavier about it. Why don't you try and find me? Okay, I'll count. Ready or not, here I come. Mommy, Mommy where, are you? where are you? You are always really good at hiding from me. Never around to play with me or comfort me when I was scared. Now you know why I ran away. Found you! <laughs> What's wrong, Mommy? You... you just scared me. That's all. I know you want to keep playing, but we can't stay here forever. It isn't safe. But it's scary out there. See? I'm tired, Mommy. Then maybe it's time for bed. Could I sleep in bed with you? Maybe you should sleep in your own bed, like a big girl. I could still tuck you in. No! I don't want to be alone! Faith! I want you to tell me a story. The purifier says that a mother's voice makes her children happy and whole. Don't you want to make me happy? I do, sweetheart. I do. Okay. Let's go.
I spoke with Krista. I'm beyond disappointed in you. I'm sorry, Xavier. It just didn't seem right. Right? Look around you, Eric. We can't be bogged down by our previous definitions of right and wrong. This is about survival. I thought you understood what was at stake. I, I do. Fortunately for you, I'm giving you another chance. I want you to join our next merging ceremony. Your next merging ceremony? Creating love through physical intimacy is something Radcliffe believes strengthens our defenses against the withering. But it's not enough love to protect us all. Then why are you asking me to... To truly become part of this community. Really protected. You must share yourself with the entire Foundation. What do you mean? Even before the withering started in Hope's Junction, High-level members of the Foundation harnessed every defense against the Blight, including physical intimacy. Why am I just hearing about this? It's kept hidden from newer members. Has Rachel... Did she...? I know it may seem bizarre to think about, but it's a practice that goes back hundreds of years. Through the merging ceremony, we see the spiritual benefit of communal intimacy. And so will you. Because I want you to be the center of the ceremony. The Seder. Seder? Fully submitting yourself to the ceremony offers clarity and enlightenment. I've never seen the world better than after serving as the Seder. It might bring you the insight you need to find your daughter. <sighs> I don't know. All I want to do is make you a part of this community. Give you a sense of belonging. But all you do is rebuke me. Do you really want to be a member of the Foundation? Of course I do. Then I will see you at the ceremony. I wasn't sure if you were coming. You always wanted to know what happened that day. Now it's time to find out. Ava, listen to me. I don't want you to put yourself in danger. Let me protect you. I already told you, Papa. I don't need to be protected. People need to be protected from me. I... I know. Then why did you give me the gun again? Because I always give you the gun. No turning back now. Ava, wait! No! Don't hurt her! Eva, where is she? Eva's been gone for 15 years. No. She was here. I... I protected her this time. Why? Why shoot? He had a gun. He was threatening everyone at the memorial for his own daughter's shooting. You people! You pushed him to this! Always ostracizing him and his family! But this? There's no excuse for this. Someone call an ambulance! She... she was...
Are you coming? I don't want to be alone. I'm coming, Faith. Okay, you can sleep with me for tonight. I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you safe too, Mommy. We can protect each other. Tell me a story. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Faith, whose Mommy loved her very much. But one day, Mommy couldn't find Faith and was really scared. So she did everything she could to find her. She searched high and low, anything she could do to get her sweet little girl back. Mommy? What were you doing? What's wrong with you? You were having a bad dream. I wanted to cut the bad dreams out. I'm sorry, Mommy. I didn't mean to scare you. Please don't leave me alone. Who is it? Eric, honey. It's me, Rachel. I was at home alone, and something happened. I had to come talk to you about it. Xavier said they banned you from Foundation property. Please, open the door. I... I don't know if I should. Eric? I spoke with Xavier. We resolved everything. You can open the door. Is he with you? Eric! Open the damn door! Xavier told me that he invited you to a merging ceremony. I thought you might want to talk about it. I can tell you about my experiences at them. Experiences? You never wondered about all the late nights that I spent here? You must have known how close I was with Xavier. Don't you want to know everything? Open the door, Eric. I... I bet you regret defending me back there. I should have been there for you before. I'm... I'm... I'm so sorry I wasn't. You're only sorry because I killed all those people. Why did you do it? Because no one loved me. That's not true. I did. I loved you very much. But they didn't. That Nils boy... Niels hated me. Mama hated me. They all hated me. So I hated them back. Why didn't you come to me? I could have helped you. You could have had a life. Helped me? You let Mama beat me for years. And after I was gone, you let her do it to Astrid. Then Brit. I'm so sorry, Ava. I failed you. I failed us all. I know you wanted to protect me, but you couldn't, and... And now... Now I'm gone. I'm 
sorry for everything. I know. I'm sorry. Ingrid, Meta, Ava. It should get you at least to Bergen. I can't keep running from what I did. What I didn't do. Don't think of it as running. Think of it as starting over. What about Astrid and Brit? As far as they know, you are missing or dead. Let the past die with you, Carl. Help your children move on. Thank you, my friend. watching. Sweetie, we have to go. No, it's scary out there. The monsters are here. Come. Mommy, stay with me. Don't leave me, Mommy. Please forgive me. 